meeting and hearing from people, professionals in Sacramento who are political consultants, political journalists, legislators. Um, it was really a great way to hear from people who had a diverse range of perspectives and being able to gain an insight into what they do in Sacramento. Many of the people on both panels reach out to students who might have had more liberal conservative leanings. And interacting there, such as in my case, is dealing with um, another person who was on the Republican panel and me being more liberal and working with them possibly an internship among each. Just situation like that, you're put in the room with people and you make the time. opportunity to see not only strong females in a position of political authority, but then to also see how we can look beyond our different political ideologies and come together to make decisions that best benefit our state. My favorite part was definitely the dinner on the second night we were there. The Institute brings the people who have been speaking on panels that day. Um, at the Capitol and other partners to come sit down and have dinner with you one-on-one, -on -one, which is really, really cool. So I think one of my favorite parts of Surreal Seminar was the student-on-student -student interactions. Saturday morning, I was just walking to one of our events and we got into a debate about like equal rights amendment. Hanging around people who um, share your passion for politics, share your passion for really making a difference in the world was by far my favorite part of it. It was really great being with a group of students who care about all the same things that I care about. We really bonded because, you know, we all have this common goal of trying to make the world a better place through politics. We get to visualize what it's like to work in practical politics, which is something super exciting for students who are studying that and envisioning it and hoping for it themselves. And then you're there in your best blazer and it's just magical.